Defect Guru here with another workout. Got a chest workout, body weight only, uh, four different exercises. We're gonna do for 30 seconds each, have a 10 second break in between each exercise. As we finish all four exercises, we have a 90 second break to gather ourselves together, get us some water if need be, and then we're gonna hit it for six more times. So that's right, seven rounds, four exercises, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, followed by a 90 second break at the end. Let's work. All right, so we have a wide push up. So we're doing a wide push up, you want your hands wider than our shoulders. So when I drop down to the mat, place my hands wider than my shoulders, but I still want them in line with my shoulders. All the way down to the ground as far as I can. All the way up. Yeah. You cut off. Next we have a combo push up. So we're going between a diamond and a regular push up. So you do the dime, you want to make sure your first fingers or your index fingers and your thumb are touching, making a diamond. Boom. You want your chest directly over that diamond. So boom. Coming down, when we come up, we push and explode to a regular push up. Hands about shoulder width apart. Then you're just going back and forth. Okay? Explosive push-ups. So we're doing a explosive push-up. It's a regular push-up position, arms about shoulder width apart. So when we come in up from the push-up, you want to explode off the ground. So I should be able to see daylight between my hands and my mat. Okay. Explode. All right, so the last exercise is the incline push-up. So I'm using a bench. Uh, you can use a chair couch, just something that has an edge, okay? You want to place your hands on that item or the prop, chest in line with my hands, coming all the way down, all the way down. Alright, remember, pace yourself, take your time. Let's go, a lot of push-ups. to regular push up. Bouncing back and forth, back and forth. Woo! Starting to burn, starting to burn. Feel less intensity. Close with next. We're gonna get a 90 second break. Woo! So the first round. Shake it off, shake it off. And we just keep on going. Alright, 90 seconds. 
Woo. So, first round is done. We kind of got a feel of how the circuit is going to go for the next remaining six rounds. Remember, pace yourself. On the ones that you find a little easier, try to use less, uh, less energy on the ones that's a little difficult for you. Just take your time. If you have to drop down to your knees, you can drop down to your knees. Uh, uh, just different. Do what you can do. Okay, let me just say that. I'm out of breath. All right, we have about 40 seconds left. And we're starting the second round. I'm already full of the pop. What about you? You good? Whew, let me grab some water. You can drop down to your knees for the modified version of each exercise. Chest and arms are feeling burned. Alright, so I'm gonna do these on my knees just so I can keep pushing. Five more rounds left. Starting to get tight. Real tight, real tight. Decided to do a push up uh, workout because everyone's doing push ups on social media. They're tagging people. So I'm going to tag you to try to do this and just let me know what you think. Like I said, I'm going through it right along with you. So it's not like I'm like cutting and snapping together 
a uh, different video. This is just one take. This is this is me trying it. Like when I stop, I'm hurting. When I yell, it's hurting. If I cuss, I apologize. You know what I'm saying? This is just me working out with you. I'm going right along with you. Ten seconds, and we're starting the third round. Okay. Remember, wide push-ups first. All right, let's get it. Third round. If you, find your, if you find a challenge, you can get your index finger and thumb together. Just bring your hands a little closer to a close hand. Push it up. All right, let's go. Incline. Right to it. tough like this try to find you a number stick with that number so right now my number is three because it's supposed to push ups it's the last one on the circuit so try to give me three now I'll take a breather okay so let's rest so we three rounds done we're almost at the halfway mark okay so we finish the fourth round, we'll be over at halfway mark. Now we got seven rounds. So we'll go continue to stick with it, continue to push yourself, continue to challenge yourself, okay? And the goal is to push for the entire 30 seconds. Yeah, I even tell myself that. So I try not to go fast. It's all about nice movement, moderate tempo, up, down, up, down, because I don't want to burn myself out, because I still have more circuits to go, okay? And remember, for each exercise, Try to pick you a number, stick with that number. So for each exercise, I'm gonna try to do five. Five push-ups, and if I can, continue to go. If I can't, take a breather. Six, 10 seconds off, catch my breath, then I'll right back at it, okay? So my number would be five. So if I ever stop, I should stop only after five push-ups. Your number can be three, your number can two, some numbers can be one, okay? Workouts like this, where you don't have any type of repetition uh, count, you're just working with an interval time, it's good because you can always challenge yourself to do more, okay? So this circuit, you can do five, the next circuit, you can do six, okay? Let's go, five push-ups. One, two, three, four. Shake it off. Let's try to shoot for another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. 
So now the push up, every time I do a push up, one, two, three. So no, my goal is to get to five. Goal is to get to five. Push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, seven. All right. Shake it off. Oh, sweat now. All right, let's go. I bet you. I bet you. Kill it. Them explosives. All right, let's go. Give me five, Coach D. Let's go, D Fit Guru. Ah. Woo. Shake it out. Let me try to give you five more fucking times that way. Woo. Sweet baby Jesus. seconds left. Catch your breath, drink your water, water way over there. <sighs> Catch it on makes it all right. So how are we feeling? How are you truly feeling? <sighs> you gotta ask yourself that all the time, whenever you're working out, whatever the sport it may be. Just ask yourself how are you feeling? And be honest with yourself. Like don't be like, oh I'm, I'm okay. It's good if it's not really good. You have to be honest with yourself. That's the only way you can make improvements. Because if you're not 100% then there's no way you can give the workout 100%. If you're not truthful with yourself, there's no way you can be honest with the workout because you're not pushing yourself to the best ability. You're faking it till you make it. And sometimes, a lot of times, you don't make it. Okay, so don't fake it. Be real. Okay, that's what I'm doing, I'm being real. I love push-ups, but doing different variations of push-ups like this, is tough for me, back to back to back. I could do all these push-ups individually if I was just doing them. Focus. Let's go. Wide grip. So I have to focus on what I'm doing and save the energy for the next variations. The push-ups. Let's go. 
starting to get fatigued. So I'm starting to slow down. So I couldn't. hear you right now. Leafy girl, you done stopped down now everyone. I'm human. I'm human. I never said I was special. I have any special powers. I'm just super passionate about fitness. And I'm always be real with it. I'm going to take breaks when I need to. I listen to my body. It's something I had to learn. But now that I'm way much older, I've been in the industry for seven plus years now. I mean, even longer than that as far as just like actually lifting weights. But as far as like being an instructor, being a coach, being a trainer, like seven plus years. And like literally, I'm starting to realize that you have to listen to your body. I used to be that guy, pushed through, like didn't care about how I was feeling, what little aches and pains my body was, you know what I'm saying, giving me as far as like notifications, like hey, to chill out but I wasn't but now that I have been chilling out and I do the proper stretching I eat as well as I can uh, I work out I listen to my body like I'm starting to feel a lot better a lot better I recover a lot faster I'm able to do a lot more I'm able to have a lot more heavier days all right enough talking let's go Wide arm question. So I'm sitting here running my trap. Not even getting ready. I'm sorry. Should have brought a towel. I did. Diamonds to explosives. I mean, diamonds to regular, I'm sorry. Diamonds. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Fatigue is setting in. And that boy D is getting tired. I'm dying, I'm dying. Woo! Let's go. Right back to it, right back to it. Shit. Oh, sweet. We made it. Last round. Round number seven. It's almost over. All right, so on this last round, I challenge you. If you ever get to a point that you feel like you just can't push anymore, just hold a full plank. So a full plank is just pretty much a push-up position, arms fully extended, hands right up under your shoulders, keeping that back nice and straight, so no booties in the air, no sinking in the middle. Straight out, okay? Let's show you sideways. So if you ever get to a point you can't push, just hold it, okay? 
This is our last one. I want you to give me what you got, okay? Give me what you have. We got this. We back at 30 seconds. Wild push up. The burn, the burn, people, some serious. Literally, something serious. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, I just tapped out an hour. That one got me. Let's go, finish on Let's go, let's go, let's go. <sighs> Woo! Good work, good work. We made it all the way through. That's a killer push-up routine, for real. If you tried it out, let me know how you feel. Let me know how difficult it was for you. As you can see, it was difficult for me. It's easy for me to, to pick a routine that I can know I can go all the way through with no problems. But I always like to piss, I always like to choose workouts that's gonna challenge me. I like to choose exercise that's gonna challenge me. Because I'm all about improving myself each and every day. Okay? So I'm gonna try to start dropping videos more and more often, just based on equipment. So today was no equipment, all body weight. All that you needed was something like a bench or a chair to do uh, incline push-ups on. Everything else, this was the gym. This was the entire gym today, okay? Good work today. Hope to see you again. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you think. If you wanna start getting alerts about new videos that might be coming up, just hit the subscribe button at the bottom. That way you can get notified every time I drop a new video, okay? Other than that, peace. Y'all have a good day.